All right, Coach, uh, tell us about your upcoming season. Well, I'm excited about our upcoming season. Um, we're excited now to have our um, players have some more years of experience under their belt. Um, last year we had all freshmen and sophomores, and now they have junior, sophomores, and freshmen. Uh, it is very good. Uh, we're excited about the schedule that we have. Uh, we're going to Central Florida. We're going to Kentucky. So our kids are going to be challenged before we, uh, we start competing in our OVC season. Um, you have one year under your belt now. What are your thoughts about the conference as a whole? I love our conference. I think the thing about our conference overall is that, um, you know, it, it, any given night, you know, you, you can definitely win. Um, I'm very excited. I love the style of plays that we have, too, you know, in terms of you're going to play Martin, who plays a lot of zone. You're going to go play Tennessee State, who plays a lot of full-court man. So I love the, the different styles of pre preparation and preparing. Um, for our conference, so. What do you uh, what do you think about the new tournament format and making Municipal Auditorium home for the OVC tournament for the next several years? I love the format. Um, the thing I like most it gives our fans an opportunity to prepare for uh, the game and, and exactly where we're going to be. We know where we're going to play. We just don't know who at that time. Right. So I really like the the format mm -hmm. and. Places that I've been in the past, I've always had this format, so I, I think it's good yeah. to have one neutral site for everyone. What do you like most about your team this year? Well, I love our aggressiveness. Um, you know, we, we're definitely going to defend first. Um, that's what I base my philosophy on, defense, rebounding, and then the rest to come. And so I'm um, very excited about uh, how aggressive we are and uh, just the experience now that we have having a year under our belt. What do you see as a, the biggest challenge for your team going forward this season? I think it goes back to the same challenge we had last year, too. Still being young, mm -hmm. no seniors. Um, secondly, I think our, our inside presence, we, we definitely got to establish that. I feel like we've recruited some players to help us out with that. Uh, Brittany Darlin, who's a 6'5 junior college player. Uh, Candace Parson, who uh, came from Dillard High School, one of the top high school programs in the country. Um, and having those kind of players, uh, post players coming, I hope will fill that gap. But I still, it hadn't been proven yet. I still think that that's a, that's a challenge for us, our post play. You, you mentioned, uh, you know, having a young squad again this year. Uh, talk about the import, importance of uh, Takara Hayes on your team and the ways of experience and leadership. Well, Takara is definitely uh, one of our key players. Uh, she's the most loyal kid that you, you, you've, you've been around. And, and to have an opportunity to to have Takara on the team is tremendous. The thing I love about Takara is that she doesn't take plays off. She plays tremendously uh, hard, one through four. It's times that we post her up, and it's times that she's played the point guard. So um, I think having that type of player on your team is just tremendous. Okay. Talk a little bit more about your newcomers and maybe a couple that you expect to have an immediate impact this season. Well, as far as the newcomers uh, and impact players, I definitely think Brianna Jordan. She's from North Cross, Jordan. Um, I mean, North Cross, Georgia, mm -hmm. right outside of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Um, she's a true point guard. Uh, she also comes from a great high school program. Um, and so I'm very excited about Bree. Her dad is Brian Jordan, who played in the major leagues. And she comes from some great genes. I just hope she carries that on to Tennessee Tech. But she's a true point guard. She works hard. Uh, she studies the game. Uh, she's always coming in my office. Hey, coach, what about this play? What happens here? here? And I, I'm, I'm expecting big things from her. Same thing with Candace Parson. Mm -hmm. Candace is a, a four player, could play the little five for us, who's from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, um, that's going to be an impact player. Molly Hedden is a, a, is a versatile player that's right there from Court Range, Tennessee. We're expecting big things from Molly. Um, Brittany Dolan, I mentioned her earlier. She's a, a junior college player who's a 6'5 post player. Mm -hmm. And just that getting her wingspan up in, in, in our league, contesting shots and those kind of things are, are going to be great. We also have a, a young lady by the name of Diamond Henderson, who's from Georgia. She's just a go-getter. She's a scorer. I'm trying to get her to play defense a little more, but she's just a scorer. Right. And then we have uh, Keisha. She's from, um, she's from Alabama, who's, uh, who's going to be a defensive stopper for us. We're excited about her energy on defense. We are. Excellent, Coach. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.